let me introduce you to Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken lives on a farm with many other chickens and with his farmer, Farmer John. But the life of Mr. Chicken is not as peaceful as we may think it is. He is threatened by a very deadly and contagious viral disease called avian influenza. But this disease is not only a danger for birds. Occasionally, it can be transmitted to humans and cause serious illness, sometimes even leading to death. And in a worst case scenario, if the virus is transmitted from one human to another, it can be the start of a new pandemic, just like the one we are seeing today with the coronavirus. So how can we protect Mr. Chicken and his friends and prevent a potential pandemic? Well, vaccination is a good way to do it. But for practical and financial reasons, it's simply impossible to vaccinate all birds all over the world. And besides, there's another way of going about it. Indeed, imagine that everyone in this room is vaccinated against a deadly virus, except for you and you. Now I introduce this deadly virus into the room. Are you dead? No, of course you're not, because the immunity of the others has stopped the spread of the virus and has kept it away from you. The exact same thing happens when it comes to birds and avian influenza. The aim of my PhD work is to develop a tool to identify in which farms birds must be vaccinated to prevent the spread of avian influenza in the entire poultry population. For example, what happens if we vaccinate only the farm of Mr. Chicken? Would that be enough to protect chickens from the other farms? Or what if we vaccinate only the most interconnected farms? Or would it be better to vaccinate only the biggest farms? To answer these questions, I have developed a computing tool which works in two stages. The first is to describe all the connections between the farm. The second is to simulate the spread of the virus from one farm to another. This simulation shows which farms to vaccinate to stop the spread of the virus. Thanks to this tool, it is now easy to identify which farms to involve in a vaccination protocol against avian influenza to offer the best protection to Mr. Chicken and all his friends. And Mr. Chicken and Farmer John can live happily ever after. And so can each and every one of us.